Everything is interconnected. As a Shinnecock Indian, I was raised to know this. We are a small fishing tribe situated on the southeastern tip of Long Island, near the town of Southampton in New York. When I was a little girl, my grandfather took me to sit outside in the sun on a hot summer day. There were no clouds in the sky. And after a while, I began to perspire. And he pointed up to the sky, and he said, look, do you see that? That's part of you up there. That's your water that helps to make the cloud, that becomes the rain, that feeds the plants, that feeds the animals. In my continued exploration of subjects in nature that have the ability to illustrate the interconnection of all life, I started storm chasing in 2008 after my daughter said, Mom, you should do that. And so three days later, driving very fast, I found myself stalking a single type of giant cloud called a supercell capable of producing grapefruit-sized hail and spectacular tornadoes, although only 2% actually do. These clouds can grow so big up to 50 miles wide and reach up to 65,000 feet into the atmosphere. They can grow so big blocking all daylight, making it very dark and ominous standing under them. <laughs> 